Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Shay with Pure Shade. So this week I'm gonna do a vegan wine tasting mud thing. So when they clarify the wine in the fining process, they actually use animal byproducts such as fish bladder, egg whites, gelatin, and casein. So when they make vegan wine, they actually just use bentonite clay, kaolin clay, limestones, and even plant casein. So it's a bit healthier when you're gonna decide on a wine to drink. So why not drink something a little bit better for you? So here we have the Stella Rosa Blueberry. This is one of their newer uh, wines. I paired it with cheesecake, the vegan cheesecake from Daya. This is a uh, Moscato di Aste by, by um, Bartonura. Um, this is also gonna be paired with the vegan cheesecake. Here we have the crisp Pinot Grigio with some sauteed vegetables. I made um, zucchini, kale, onions, red bell peppers, green bell peppers with some onion powder, cayenne, and I think red pepper flakes and some Celtic sea salt. Here we have, um, what is this? We have the fat bastard Pinot Noir and I'm pairing that with some hummus with some pita chips. So let's dig in you guys. So let's start. We're gonna start from here with the hummus with the Pinot Noir. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of wine and let you know how it tastes, you guys. Again, this is the Fat Bastard Pinot Noir. What does it say? Um, so it's French roots. Okay. All right. So again, this is the Stacy Pita Chips, non-GMO. I'm gonna pair it with the uh, Simple Truth Organic Hummus Roasted Red Pepper. This is from Kroger. It's one of my favorite. I actually like hummus. Do a little taste and a little sip. Mm. So good. Mm. Again, one of my favorite hummus um, brands by Kroger. Simple proof. So let's see what this tastes like. Oh, that's really good. Oh man. This is again the Fat Bastard Pinot Noir made in France. It has 12.5%. Oh my goodness. Woo, so you better take it easy when you drink this right here. So again, you know, I just wanted to do a vegan wine, you know. It may not be the super healthiest thing to drink some alcohol, but if you're gonna drink, why not drink something that's a little on the healthier side? And of course, if you're gonna be vegan, you might as well get some vegan wine and not be, you know, ingesting animal byproducts. So what better way to taste some vegan wine and eat your vegan food? But this is some really good wine oh my goodness you can taste all the oh my goodness this is really good i can't even explain the flavor like it's wow you guys this is some good wine you need to go try it that bastard a good red wine i guess to you know and maybe have an appetizer start your i think it said it's paired well with asian food mediterranean food um mushrooms root vegetables so again this is the fat bastard pinot noir so next uh, again i made this um sauteed vegetables again it has kale zucchini onions bell peppers red peppers um yeah that's really it for this is the again the crisp pinot noir Again, 12.5%, okay. All right, let's see what this tastes like. Again, all of these wines are vegan, you guys. So 
I've never tried these brands here. So this is all new for me. So we're gonna try this out. Chris, let me actually get a little bit of the vegetables first to kind of clean my palate with the taste so I can taste all the flavors. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm. Oh yeah, and I sauteed it in grapeseed oil. You can also saute it in avocado oil. Um, this is some good stuff, y'all. Oh my God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So again, this is um, Chris Pinot Grigio 2019. Mm. Let's see. Ooh, um, it's a bit, uh, I can taste the dryness in it, but it's, um, it goes really well with the vegetables. Like I can taste more of the flavor of the wine with the food. Let me taste another bite. Cause this is supposed to go well with, um, uh, spicy foods, um, grilled or sauteed vegetables. Mm. Oh yeah. You can taste more of the flavor once you drink the wine and eat some more of the vegetables. Oh yeah, it tastes better. Um, I don't know. I'm not really a Pinot Grigio drinker, but I mean, it's, it's good. I like it. Um, where did I buy it again? No. Mm, I, I think I would, depending on, I guess, what I'm drinking, um, like what I'm eating it with. So I, I would probably buy this again. Definitely this one right here. I would definitely buy Fat Bastard Pinot, Gris, uh, Pinot Noir. That's some good Pinot Noir. All right, so these two here are more dessert wines. Um, you can eat this with cheesecake and fruits. And again, this is some Daya vegan cheesecake. Um, it's dairy, soy free, gluten free, non GMO, plant based, has coconut in it. All right, so I'm gonna cut me a piece and taste it with both of the wines. So let me. Move this a little bit out the way and see what we got. Get a little piece. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my. So, if you're a lover of New York style cheesecake and you're trying to, you know, not eat all that dairy and cheese. This is one of the good cheesecakes to try. I've actually tried this cheesecake. It's amazing. Mm. And I myself, before becoming vegan, vegan, love cheesecakes. That was one of my one of my favorites. I just love sweets in general, but <laughs> cheesecake is I love cheesecake. So this is actually a very good cheesecake comparison of the actual New York style cheesecake. This Daya brand here nails it to me. Mm. Delicious. All right, so it, this is um, the Bartonora Moscato Dioski. It only has 5% alcohol. So, you know, if you're not really going for, you know, a lot of percent per volume, this one isn't too bad to, you know, have a glass either for yourself or if you have some company, why not? Oh, this is delicious. Oh my God. Mm, very good. Very fizzy. It's a um, rich aroma of the Moscato grape. It's very light, fresh peachy highlights. Yeah, I definitely taste it. It says best served chilled. Mm. Very good. Bartonora. Oh, yeah. 
This is definitely added on the list. So, so far, definitely go get you a bottle of Fat Bastard Pinot Noir. Definitely get you a bottle of Bartenor Moscato Diasti. And next, we're gonna try the Celerosa Blueberry. This one is the Celerosa Blueberry. Oh, let me move these so you guys can see them a little bit better. All right, so this is the newer Stella Rosa Blueberry. Hope you guys can see that. This is vegan, gluten-free. Um, I don't know where the percentage is. Oh, 5%. So it's up there with the Bartonora. These two have a 12.5 more of the kick. And this is more of the dessert wines, you know. It's just, you know, you're trying to relax, chill. You ain't trying to drink crazy, you know. Just trying to have a little, nice little night stress-free. So again, this is Stella Rosa Blueberry. It's one of their newer flavors. So if you haven't tried it, we're about to see what it tastes like. Cheers. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is blueberry. I definitely taste the blueberry. It's got a little fizzy taste. Um, let's see what it says here. Yeah, full body hint of sweetness. It says it also can be served with uh, fruit, spicy cuisines. More again, more of a dessert wine. These again too are more of dessert ones. So I'll move this up here so you can see it. I'll move this over a little bit so you can see a little better of the wine brands we've got here. Again, this is the blueberry. I'm gonna take another bite of the uh, vegan cheesecake. See how it goes with the blueberry. Mm. Oh, that is so good. You can even put some like sauces, like even if you like blueberries or strawberries, do like some sauces on top of the cheesecake. This just enhances the flavor of both the vegan cheesecake with this wine. So again, get you a bottle of this Stella Rosa Blueberry, this Bartonora Moscato Diasti, and this Fat Bass Serpino Noir. This one, I, I mean, I'm gonna get it again. Like I said, it's, I'm not more of this type of drinker, so it's not my kind of thing. But paired with the right meal, this is actually a really good Pinot Grigio. I've, I mean, I've had other Pinot Grigio, so it's not horrible. It's just not my cup of tea, if you would say that. But um, it's a good wine, but I would say my top, let's see, let's see, I'm gonna taste them again. What was this? This is the Pinot. Mm. Oh, that's Stella Rosa. It's delicious. Oh man. Okay. So I'm gonna go on a sweetness scale. So if you're more of a sweetness wine drinker, this one is gonna be your favorite. The Bartonora Moscato Diasti. Is very, it's, did this say semi-sweet? No, I think this one says semi-sweet. Hands of sweetness, yeah, that's true. This one is the sweetest out of all of them. So if you're more of a sweeter wine, of course, Moscatos are always known to be sweet, but this one right here is definitely more of a sweeter wine. This is the next sweetest wine. It says on a scale, it says semi-sweet. It's okay, they gave it a five. I believe that, that's, that's very accurate because it's a, it's a, a hint of sweet. I can taste it. It's not like overpowering of sweetness. Yeah, because you can taste the flavor of the blueberry. You get the, you get the little fizz and it's just a little bit of sweetness. Now, this is to me more of like a, these two more to, are like to me a more of a dinner wine. Um, this definitely over the Grigio. The Pinot Noir, this is a very, very good Pinot Noir. So, this is more of a more of a bitter wine. It's uh, kind of dry. 
Yeah, it almost actually reminds me of a Cabernet. Like, I really like Cabernets. And it, it kind of it kind of gives me the Cabernet type taste. Like, it reminds me of a Cab. This is, again, this is some good wine. Again. So, again, disclaimer, you know, wine, it's alcohol. So, it's not the most healthiest thing out there. Again, this is just to give you options. If you are going to drink, do a better, healthier version of the liquor that's out there. There is a website called Barnivore, which I'll attach on the screen so you can see. You can actually see the different types of beer, wine, and liquor and know if it's vegan friendly or not vegan friendly. So you can also look at the liquor or wine or beer that you currently drink right now and see if what you're already drinking is vegan friendly. So again, it's more of the process because back in the day they used animal byproducts to clarify the wine, beer, or liquor. So check that website out and that way you'll know what you are drinking if it's vegan friendly. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please try out these wines. Let me know what you guys think. Be you, think naturally. Thank you guys again. Bye.